In honor of my fallen brothers and sisters in the military, I agreed to do on the spot a 20 mile ruck march over Memorial Day weekend, hosted and sponsored by Chicago veterans. You got house music playing right before a home. <laughs> what a way to learn how to get more mental toughness by pushing through our comfort zone. I've been done 20 miles in over 20 plus years, and we're doing 20 miles today. The coolest part is fighting through cramps and aches and pains. The biggest thing is don't stop because once you stop, you lose momentum. Just had a banana. Damn, that banana hit the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine every high school senior after my graduation had to serve in the military for at least two years. What you learn about yourself, bro? Man, I could do anything. I definitely felt like 20 miles. <laughs> I think I started cramping up at the fifth mile. Very smart veteran team, baby. Let's do this. Power! March! In this video, I wanna share with you some business lessons that any entrepreneur can use that I learned after humping 20 miles in eight hours on a moment's notice. Miranda, you ready to rock? I'm ready, let's go. Ready to rock? I want these wheels up. Ready to rock? Let's get it. 20 miles, here we go. <laughs> 20 mile ruck march here in Chicago Veterans. Money smart veteran team, baby. Let's do this. Yeah. So here we are. Beginning stages of 20 mile ruck. March they say in the Army, or in the Marine Corps we say the 20 mile hump. Honoring veterans. In fact, check that. Honoring fallen veterans, fallen soldiers, fallen brothers and sisters on this Memorial Day weekend. I've been done 20 miles in over 20 plus years, and we're doing 20 miles today. So let's see how the, uh, the back, the knees, the ankles hold out. Today, at the shooting of this video, I'm 45 years old with numerous aches and pains, not only just by getting older, but some injuries I still suffered from being in the military. For example, both my patella tendons are torn 40%, and I never got them operated on because I don't want to be laid up in a straight-legged cast for three to four months at one time. I've got spinal stenosis in my lumbar area, which is basically a fat guy in a small car. You use your stomach muscles. <laughs> Any small injury would cause some form of disability. In fact, I was deemed undeployable to go back to the Middle East to fight in Iraq again because of this injury. And I don't know if it's because I'm Pacific Islander or I'm Filipino, but I deal with a condition called gout, which is a horrible, horrible condition that left untreated by a doctor or prescription drugs can really erode away at your joints. Inspired by my conversation earlier this year with retired Navy SEAL David Goggins, I was inspired by his efforts to raise money for fallen Navy SEALs by doing a marathon. He had very little training. In fact, I think his training only had a 20 minute interval of training on a Sundays on an elliptical. Check this out. And my workout routine was go to the gym and my cardio was 20 minutes on the elliptical every Sunday. That's it, that's it. 20 miles was a long time to think about stuff. So here goes. So that's a good point. Imagine every high school senior after upon graduation had to serve in the military for at least two years. Yeah. It's kind of like what they do in Israel, right? Yeah. Kind of like, by the way, that's what the Mormons do with their faith. Before you enter the next wave of life after high school graduation, as a young adult, you serve. Imagine how much better America would be. Number one, when in doubt, do it. Sure, we had zero conditioning, zero prep. I mean, what we do for work, I'm a co-owner of an insurance agency. Yet, we decided to do this a few days beforehand to just do it. In business, there's no such thing as perfect timing. You just have to implement, execute, and adjust along the way. Otherwise, your competition is gonna run you over. Hey, is this Lewis? Lewis, how you doing, buddy? My, na my name's Matt with PHP Agency. How you doing? Enrolled in $199. And you get access right away to our pre-licensing course in your state. So you can start studying right away. Number two, go with a team. Now, doing this alone, just by yourself, would have been tough. And such is the journey of entrepreneurship as you start your business. Having a board of advisors, a mentor, some running buddies in business can help you go a long way. People that you lean on with along the way that have your best interests at heart as well as you have their best interests at heart makes the journey a whole lot easier. You know you're on Devil Dogs when you got this going on. Sis Nails, what you got? Oh, what's up, man? <laughs> Full combat load right here. Full combat load right there. Gotta stay hydrated in the fight at all times. You understand that? <laughs> all right, number three. Push past the pain. Now, about the fourth mile into it, fifth mile into it, man, my feet started to hurt. Woo! <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit of a cramp right now in the groin. 
Okay. <laughs> it's real tight, but relax your grip. <laughs> and my hamstrings, my calves, my groin, all this stuff right here just started cramping up. I felt the shooting pain in my right foot just every time I took a step, just shoot right up my calf, shoot right up my, 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 my hips. It, it, it was horrible pain. <laughs> and lo and behold, I was kept telling myself, man, I got another 16 miles of this stuff to look forward to. Thankfully, I came with somewhat prepared. Now, we all had to carry a pack on our back, at least 20 pounds. And back there, I had a camelback with water. I had some energy gels and some chews. What are you reaching for, bro? <laughs> right? You're digging deeper than I thought. <laughs> Along the way, some people are handing out bananas. Man, that would help out a lot, having apples and bananas to eat along the way. So just had a banana. Just had a banana. First time I've ever seen this in my entire life. Damn, that banana hit the spot. <laughs> and you know what really helped out? Right here, this massager. Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh -oh. In business, there's also gonna be a lot of mental anguish. There's gonna be some pain. There's gonna be some moments where your back is up against the wall and you gotta make a move. No matter what you do in business, as in in life, there's always gonna be some form of distraction. Anticipate it, learn how to deal with it, so therefore it doesn't knock you off your goal. All right, so we're here at the Northwestern University campus, just taking a quick break, 10 mile mark. Grab some pasta, grab some Gatorade, change some socks. Rain's coming down. What do you guys think, you guys wrapped up? Nope. Nope. Huh? <laughs> not done. Not done. Listen, we have 10 more miles to go. We're ready to rock, man. Here's one that's easier said than done. Number four, mind over matter. I wanted to tell my brain, my mind tells my body what to do, not the other way around. In business, you're going to face so many hurdles and so many challenges. Why? Because as an entrepreneur, you as a CEO running your own business, the whole responsibility of the company is on your shoulders. It's your brain that's gonna tell you, hey man, stop reacting to every little bit of fire that comes up along the way. What I loved about this 20 mile march is that I was able to start training my brain again due to some physical challenges. Hey, go Navy! Get off your ships and follow me! Get off your ships and follow me! High Marine Corps Infantry! Listen, your first wealth is your health. In business, you're gonna face a lot of things that want to limit you to what you wanna do, but if you have an exercise, physical exercise, to program your brain, to push past limitations, guess what starts to happen? You push past those barriers too as well in business. Looks like this is uh, Rogers Park. Maybe you're at 12, 13 miles somewhere in there. I don't know. But uh, the coolest part is fighting through cramps and aches and pains. What did we learn, Miranda? What was that, uh, oh yeah. The biggest thing is don't stop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because once you stop, you lose momentum, and it's harder and achier to get it back up again. So translate that to business. The moment you got speed on your side, momentum on your side, don't let her go. Now, with the pain settling, number five came very important. Don't stop. Why? Because you will lose momentum. Here's the thing I realized about momentum, especially walking these 20 miles. We, we started telling ourselves, you know what? Let's take a break, let's take a break. We saw other people taking a break. But here's what we realized. Once we started slowing down, the aches and pains in our body started to take root and they started to deepen in. And when we found after take maybe one or two breaks, that it took a while for us to get back to the same level of pace and momentum we had before. Almost there, bro. It's like right around the corner, like, five miles around the corner. It remind me that once you have momentum in your business, you never ever want to slow down. And the bottom line is enjoy the stinking journey. I know 20 miles was a lot for us to go from Glencoe all the way down to downtown Chicago. Yet there is still so much to see and experience while walking through it versus driving through it. Getting a glimpse of some of the finest neighborhoods and areas in the Chicagoland area was a great distraction away from the physical pain. It inspired me that that was I was building as an entrepreneur, as a business owner. I'm building something for my kids and my kids' kids. Yes, business is about the goals and the destination, man. But along the way, could you please enjoy the journey? I guess I'm just happy knowing that uh, Friday afternoon rush hour traffic, we're actually getting through Chicago faster than most people are in their cars. <laughs> so in closing, marching 20 miles was more than just about the 20 miles. Having zero preparation, our mind was focused on what we didn't have, but it was about 
the bigger cause. We never made it about ourselves, but rather the situation and the message of what the 20 mile ruck march stood for. Which, what you doing the 20 miles for? <clears throat> so there's this whole, we're all here, we're all going through pain and blisters and stuff, really to bring awareness to it and just to show our brothers and sisters that we support them, that we're there for them. And I think that as an entrepreneur, that is a business person, along with the money, along with the recognition, although that's going to happen to you for those that stick around it and do it long enough. For me, what I realized in Ernst's 20 mile ruck march is that it's more about making a difference than it is about the money or the recognition. We felt so good about what we we're doing, what the event stood for, and who we were once it was done. Lule, what'd you learn about yourself, bro? Man, I can do anything. <laughs> Come on, I man. I can do anything. Woo, finish line's right here. Oh, finish line's coming up. 20 miles. 20 man. miles, 20 bro. Miles. 20 miles, proud of you. 20 miles. As a citizen of this great country and a veteran of the United States Marine Corps, I'm honored and glad to be able to get my piece of the American dream because I know the ones that died and paid the ultimate sacrifice to make this happen did it for me and did it for you. As busy as I am as an entrepreneur, always flying from coast to coast, I personally am gonna make a more concentrated effort to take better care of my body. I look forward to the team that we're gonna put together for next year's Ruck March, sponsored and hosted by Chicago Veterans. And by the way, I love their mission statement, which is to empower military veterans to take control of their transition throughout life. Now, what about you? Are you up for the challenge of doing 20 miles as well? What about your business? What are you up to in terms of accomplishments in your business this year? I'd love to know your thoughts. I'd love to know your feedback. Please drop them in the comments section below. I read them and I also reply to them too as well. So with that being said, I appreciate you watching this episode. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you click like to follow our business page and make sure you tag a fellow veteran. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click subscribe and hit notifications to be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. So thanks for watching and thanks for posting your comments. And until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today. Is that Miranda? Subscribe. Yes, Miranda. Proud of you, bro. All of his tears of joy. Bro, it's, it's, it's tears of joy, pain. <laughs>